Blockchain Technology Explained. So blockchain technology is a decentralized and distributed ledger system that allows data to be securely recorded, stored, and shared across multiple nodes in a network. Each block in the blockchain contains a list of transactions. And once data has been added, it is cryptographically secured and linked to the previous block creating a chain of immutable records. So what we're saying here is as transactions are made and the actual asset is being uh, moved between different owners, it creates new blocks within the blockchain. And once a block goes in the blockchain, it is recorded and it moves with the actual data or whatever the actual record system is as it is transferred between the different owners. And when we say immutable, it means they can't be changed. Okay, it is cryptographically secured. So you can't edit and change the histories of the previous blocks. It stays that way, making the actual transmission of the actual record or data set authentic. All right, we can't go back and edit the past. And you can actually see right back to the origin of whatever this entity may be, who have been the owners, what dates exchanges were made, and any other details that are relevant to it. This technology is widely known for its use with cryptocurrencies, but its applications extend beyond, including data management, supply and chain tracking, and digital identity verification. So it's obviously an emerging technology that has become very popular because through these ledgering systems, we can track how this actual asset has been transacted between different owners and what dates and what values might be associated with that. So what we'll try to do is actually illustrate how blockchain may look. So below is an example of how blockchain records transactions as a ledger of blocks that stays with data as it moves between different entities or nodes. So as it's transferred through a network, the blocks follow on with it, okay? And the history stays with it, okay? And so, each new transaction or series of transaction creates a new block in the chain. So I'll try to use an example here. And let's just say we're using the example of Bitcoin. Now, I'll tell you right now, this is in no way a true reflection of how Bitcoin works, but it might be something that helps you connect it in your mind of how blockchain is used in relation to a cryptocurrency. So this new Bitcoin has been created and it's got to go to its first owner. So someone purchases this Bitcoin. Okay, what we have is a hash. Okay, and that represents the actual block that this is. And this is block B1. The previous block that it's connected to is zero. There is no previous transaction record because this is the first person that has actually got this cryptocurrency. The timestamp is the date that it was purchased. It's on the 22nd of the 10th, 2014. And I've included here an owner, a bishop. They are the owner of the actual currency at this point. Okay, so that is our first block in the chain. Now, this is obviously an individual transaction, but we've also said with blockchains, it could be a series of transactions as well, depending whatever the blockchain technology is being used for. So, this person has owned it for a while. It's, they realize, you know what, it's accumulated a good value in the market. Maybe it's time to sell. So they now sell their uh, crypto to another person. So that creates a new block. And we're hashing this block as B2. And the previous block in the chain is B1. So that is how the chain is also secured. Each new record references the previous record or the previous hash, the previous block. Okay, so and that's how we strengthen the chain. Timestamp is the 5th of the 10th, 2016, and the owner now is H. Jones. They are now the owner of this Bitcoin, all right, and it is registered in the blockchain. But once again, as we know with cryptocurrencies, you know, they're skyrocketing, and when it's time to sell and make a good money on that profit, it's time to sell. So this time, H. Jones is going to sell, and they have sold it to N. Bates. So N. Bates has a new block created for them, hash B3. The previous hash is B2, referring to the previous block once again. Timestamp 21st of the 3rd, 2019, owner N Bates. And that is now recorded in the blockchain. So as you can see, we have created new blocks in our chain every time this Bitcoin has changed hands. All right, and we've stating what hash it is, the actual block, what the previous block was, and we've been timestamping it. Those first three factors are the important part that are very relevant to blockchain technology. Okay, the hashing of the blocks, the referencing of the previous block, and the timestamping. Because as said here, I've put the person's name, that, that mightn't even exist for Bitcoin. 
all right and it could also be a series of transactions underneath too okay but that is the logic of the blockchain there so as you can see the immutable records you can trace back every owner of this bitcoin throughout its transaction history so already we can see why it's so good there but we'll add a few more points in to kind of justify the technology first one is data integrity and security blockchain ensures that data integrity by creating a transparent and tamper-proof record of transactions as we said they're immutable okay they're always moving around okay with whatever the blockchain is representing okay or supporting okay with its actual technology Okay. Once data is written into a block, it cannot be altered, which guarantees that the original data remains unchanged. Okay, so all these records in my blockchain, they can't be edited. Once they're created, okay, they are locked in. The next point is that of decentralized verification. Blockchain's decentralized nature allows data to be verified across multiple nodes. So as this Bitcoin is being transferred between owners, obviously they're storing it on their own nodes. Okay, and then they can sell it to someone else. So the actual history of the actual crypto in this case is moving okay with the transactions to new systems but all the blocks are moving with it and the history moves with it all right so it doesn't rely on a central authority okay it stays with the actual whatever it's representing okay this prevents data manipulation and builds trust among participants in the network okay because once they get it they can see the history and they have full ownership over it and if they do want to sell it to someone else that person can actually see okay the history of how this actual element has moved around the, the actual network okay through what's all transactions and then the final point is tracking and auditing blockchain provides a clear audit trail allowing users to track data from its origin through every transaction or modification so whether it's something that does change okay or if it's just having different owners blockchain stores it all as different blocks and you can track that so that supports auditing okay because obviously it can't be touched and you can actually see the history of transactions okay and we've already mentioned the tracking as well you can see the history you know where it's been prior to you getting ownership of this actual product this transparency is valuable for industries where data source history and authenticity are critical all right so obviously it really supports the legitimacy of whatever is being transacted so i hope this video is giving you an understanding of what blockchain technology is and really okay it's a system where essentially we are locking in records as blocks every time transactions are made and that history of records moves around with whatever the product is that is using blockchain technology all right is cryptographically stored okay so things are locked in once they are stored which supports data integrity and security it moves with the data, which means decentralized verification, meaning it can move around different nodes of a network and the history can be tracked with it. And it supports tracking and auditing because we can see that history and verify the history of a product so that we ensure we're getting a legitimate product that is of value that we want to own or want to trans uh, with other people okay really supporting okay the quality of whatever is being exchanged so i hope this video is giving you a great understanding of what blockchain technology is